That chair is quite bouncy. <laughs> I've never noticed this before. This is actually quite fun. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack. I'm your host and you're watching a hack vlog. Not too long ago, I did a little comparison between Moog's Model D, which is an which is a mini Moog emulation, and Arturia's iMini, which is a mini Moog emulation clone, and also Propellerhead's Thor, which is neither. It's not trying to be a mini Moog clone. It's just trying to be a really good synthesizer, which it is. And the reason to why I wanted to include Thor into those tests it was because I wanted some kind of a distinction, something that wasn't uh, trying to be a Moog clone, just to see if we could uh, spot the uh, the difference both in sound and in looks because I was using an oscilloscope. Now right before I started the tests inside that video I put up a little poll first because I wanted you viewers to guess um, and to see if you could spot the real Model D. Before we really got into testing and really listening to the differences between the, the Moog emulation which is Model D and the Moog emulation clone which is Arturia's iMini and also the non-Moog, which was Propellerhead's Thor. I'm so happy that so many of you decided to interact with the uh, poll. And I, I, I hope to do polls, like, more polls like this in the future. And I want as many of you, your awesome viewers, to interact with this as possible. Well, the results are in and I find the results to be quite astonishing. I wasn't really expecting 440 votes. Out of 440 votes, 210 votes were placed on synth number two, which is Thor. So most of us, including myself, because as I said in that episode, I did also do the same test and I failed, but I never said in the video which one I chose. And I too chose the Thor one. Most of us thought that Propellerhead's Thor was the real Moog. What real, you know what I mean? The, we thought that that was Model D. And I wonder why. Because if we look at the rest of the results, then Synthesizer 3, which was Arturia's iMini, got 132 votes. And that's like 30% of the votes. And the one, uh, which was the real Model D, only got 98 votes and ended up at 23%, 22%. Wait, there's a percent missing there. There's a percent missing? Where did that percent go? And I'm wondering why? Why did so many of us think that? Because that's quite an astonishing result. Very interesting result, in it? I'm betting that most of the people that voted for the other two have been using Moog synthesizers a lot or, or you might own them. And the ones actually guessing right, uh, I, I think that most of you have Moog synthesizers out there. Some of you are born with Moog synthesizers and I, I envy you so much. I'm gonna find you and we're gonna take all of your synthesizers. Why do you think that so many of us thought that Propellerhead's Thor was Model D? Is it because we th th there's something we expect from a Moog synthesizer and Thor was able to deliver that? both in the looks of its waveform and its sound. One thing that you can notice if you go back to and listen to that video is that Thor's waveform, when it comes to the square waveform, is extremely clean. It's almost square, it's almost square. It's got a bit filtered off, you, you can see that. But if you look at the, the Model D one and the uh, Arturia iMini, their shapes are more alike. They're much more alike. Uh, and so Thor's square waveform shape looks completely different from the other two. What Was that the case? Is that the case? Maybe my thought is wrong, I don't know. Tell us, tell us what you think. I wanna hear all of your opinions, especially those of you who, who guessed it right. I know some of you actually did type down there, like I guessed it right at the first time. And I wanna thank all of you who commented that you didn't spoil it for anyone. I wanna thank you so much for that. The most interesting thing would be to test Model D app against the, the hardware one. I'm gonna try to go and maybe make contact with one of my local music stores. Yeah, we have several ones here in Stockholm. I'm gonna try to see if I can get into one of their shops and film a little and just record some sounds and see how close Model D, the emulation, 
version on, on iOS, how close that is to the real hardware thing. So thank you so much for interacting with the video. Thank you so much for, for voting uh, on the poll. I've got some more interesting comparisons to do in the future. Uh, until then, thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings will be very much appreciated. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is so weird. I'd rather be doing this. Look at this. So, if you want to help in supporting the, uh, the, um, the, uh, the, what? If you want, you know, if you want to help in securing the future for this channel, then you've got, uh, you got Patreon there, you got PayPal there. And I just published a new song on my Bandcamp, if you want to go check that out, uh, buying one of those tracks, if you like them, it's also a way of supporting me. I've put the links for the um, Moog Model D and Thor uh, and Arturia, I mean, because I've been talking about them and I'm an Apple affiliate. That's also another way of, of supporting me and the work I do here with the Hack Attack format. Uh, share the videos, press the thumbs up because that really helps with the ratings around. <laughs>